Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's exit from the royal family has healed traditional rivalries and left Prince Charles and Prince William more influential than they've ever been, royal commentators have said. Royal commentator Camilla Tomini said that previously royal households did not work in synergy, but that Meghan and Harry's decision to step back from royal duties may have helped with this. She said, historically, problems have arisen behind palace gates precisely because there was a sense that the three royal households, Buckingham Palace, Clarence House and Kensington Palace, were not working in synergy. Yet it seems Megxit has put paid to some of these traditional rivalries. She added, it is no secret that both Charles and William were deeply hurt by the claims made in the Sussex's primetime interview with the US chat show host last March, especially Harry's suggestion that both his father and brother felt trapped in the monarchy, not to mention his refusal to rule them out of the running for who made an allegedly racist remark about Archie's skin color. Again, father and son were involved in the drafting of the Queen's statement responding to the allegations, suggesting that recollections may vary. In that crisis, as in the furore concerning the Duke's relationship with Epstein, which has dragged on for more than a decade, the palace's response has been characterized by the joined-up thinking of the sovereign and her heirs. Their ever-closer cooperation, displayed in a four generations of monarchy photograph, also featuring Prince George, to mark the turn of the decade in 2020, was, in fact, one of the reasons Harry felt pushed out. Royal author Phil Dampier also attributed the increased cooperation to Prince Philip's death but added that the family had bonded over the Sussexes' interview with Oprah Winfrey. He said, following his father's death, Charles is now spending a lot more time at Sandringham, the Queen's Norfolk home, where he has taken over a lot of Prince Philip's duties. The Cambridges spend most weekends at Anmer Hall, their country bile up there, which means father and son are now seeing a lot more of each other. They have also undoubtedly bonded over the fallout of the Oprah Winfrey interview. The comments about increased cooperation within the royal family, printed in the Telegraph, came in the wake of the palace's statement announcing that Prince Andrew would be stripped of his royal titles. Royal sources said that the decision was widely discussed among the royal family. According to Ms. Tomini, Prince Charles and Prince William were both heavily involved in the deliberations. Mr. Dampier, quoted by Ms. Tomini, added, Increasingly, Prince Charles and Prince William are working hand in glove and being consulted by the Queen on every major decision. There's no doubt they will have made their views clear to the Queen over the Andrew situation. In the past, she would have spoken at length to Prince Philip about such matters, but now she has lost her husband, and with both her son and grandson taking over more and more duties, it's no surprise that she is more reliant on their advice. They are more influential than they've ever been. If anything, the departure of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and the fact that William has fallen out with Harry, has brought him and Charles closer. Announcing the changes to Prince Andrew's titles, Buckingham Palace said in a statement, with the Queen's approval and agreement, the Duke of York's military affiliations and royal patronages have been returned to the Queen. The Duke of York will continue not to undertake any public duties and is defending this case as a private citizen. Prince Andrew vehemently denies all allegations against him.